What's up guys and welcome back to another eBay Mini to Rescue. Today we're going to look at this Skaven Plague Claw Catapult that I found on eBay for 15 bucks. It actually has a nice paint job and it came on a square base. It wasn't finished so this is going to be a rather quick one. We're pretty much just going to finish the paint job and put it on a new base. So starting with Gorthor Brown. I'm going to dry brush pretty much all over the wood. I'm going to ignore the metal for now because we're going to come back later to refresh that. We're going to do a dry brush of scrag brown from the bottom up so that we don't wipe out that Gorthor brown too much. We just want to give a little more variation and keep the darker brown in the shadows. Averlin Sunset is going to be the base coat for our Plague Goo. Using a smaller dry brush with Radiant Platinum, I'm going to go over all of the metal. For all the cabling, I'm going to use Evil Sun Scarlet as a highlight. Using Mood Green mixed down with water into a wash consistency, I'm going to go over the Plague Goo and that's just going to have that really bright green settle in all the recesses. The same thing goes for the Warp Stone on the end of the catapult. So really what I'm trying to do here is match it with an existing catapult that I already own. So for the most part, I'm just pushing these colors towards this other plate claw. Using Blood for the Blood God, a little bit watered down, I'm going to go back on top of that plague goo and just put some of this into the recesses. Coming back with Moot Green, I'm just going to go over some of the higher points on the Warp Stone. So it's getting pretty close at this point. There's only a few things left to do, pretty much just weathering. With Nihilic Oxide, I'm just going to go around the model and pick out interesting areas that I think would look nice weathered. So 
Scrag Brown, really watered down, looks like a really nice rust. So I'm gonna go back over a lot of the nylic oxide and on a majority of the metal parts and just make them look rustier. Using Nurgle's Rot on the Plague Goo, this is gonna cover up some of that yellow, blend in a little bit of the green and the red, and just make it look more disgusting. Something that I try and look out for as often as I think about it, I guess, on eBay are lots of bases. So I bought, I don't know, a few weeks ago, a bag of probably 20 or 30 bases of tons of varying sizes, including a bunch of these large vehicle bases for eight bucks. So it's always nice to have extra bases laying around because if you're buying a lot of used models, you know, you're, you're gonna get weird bases, broken bases, whatever it is. So after doing all this work, it was pretty quick and I think it turned out pretty much how I wanted it to. It matches my other plague claw, and the base is a little different than the other one. Uh, the other one's more of a snow base, but it turned out pretty good. And for 15 bucks and a little bit of work, there's another plague claw on the table. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Join us over at facebook.com slash ebay miniature rescues and talk about some hobby. Thank you for joining me on another ebay miniature rescue. I am Casey and I will see you in the next video.